signals. You've learned about true and false. You've seen how to write comparison statements that can have a result of true or false. The final part of the puzzle is how to make your code do different things depending on these results. At the start of the playground, you read about reactions to the length of a video. Now it's time to implement that in code. What you want to happen is this. If the duration is shorter than five, say it was too short. If the duration is greater than or equal to five, say it was very nice. The code is similar to how you'd write it in prose. So how you'd say it. So let video length get five. If video length is less than five, then do this. If I blinked, I'd miss it. If video length is le or greater than or equal to five, say that's lovely. This is called an if statement. It works like this. If some code that could be true or false is true. So if video length is less than five, that is false. So we're looking for if it's true. If video length is greater than or equal to five, video length is currently five, so it's equal to five. So that is true. So if this is true, run the code inside of the braces or the curly brackets. So inside of this, it's going to run that's lovely. So we see on the right that it runs that's lovely over here, but it does not run if I blinked, I'd miss it here. So this evaluates to false. So it skips that code. So in the code above, you can see in the result sidebar that the first statement is run. The code inside of the second statement isn't executed because the conditions for it aren't true. They miswrote that. Uh, so the first statement, if video length is less than five, that is false. So it does not run that. So that is incorrect what they wrote there. Um, if video length is greater than or equal to five, that one is true, so that one does run. So experiment, change the value of video length and see how the new value affects the code that is run. So if I change video length to three, it's going to say, if I blinked, I'd miss it, but it's not going to say that's lovely because three is not greater than or equal to five. If I change it to 10, it's going to say that's lovely again because it's not because this statement is false and this statement is true. So what happens if you change the comparison in the first example? So it complains about the video shorter than 10 seconds. So if we take this back to five, so if we complain, if I blinked, I'd miss it. So if this is five, the video length is shorter than 10, but it is also greater than or equal to five. So it's running both of these statements, which is kind of contradictory. What happens if you set the video length to eight? Okay, well, eight. And again, both of these are true, so it is going to run both of those statements. Your second experiment may have had strange results. Head to the next page to straighten them out.